Well, uh, Beezy and I are different ages uh, by about uh, 10 or 12 years, I think. You know, I came up through the juniors and she, her international career was already underway um, and she was riding at a very top level. She was riding for a gentleman by the name of Harry Gill. And when she was finished uh, riding his horses, I actually, that was my first uh, major job in the sport. So we connected through conversation uh, on that and uh, the rest is history. I've often thought about the, the years we spent competing against each other and, and how our careers were intertwined. And there were definitely moments where I thought, wow, if I didn't have to compete against her, I would have won you know, a great deal more. Um, but in reality, um, we made each other better. We pushed each other. Um, and that rivalry, I think, is, is a lot to do with what our careers ended up uh, turning out to be. I think the era of BZ and I, and it was basically you know, about 18 years of being the cornerstones of the U.S. equestrian team, was, was just a perfect formula. Um, we were two riders who, even though we came from different backgrounds, um, came up with the same philosophy instilled in us. Riding for your country and succeeding, uh, representing your flag was the most important thing in sport and in life. And uh, to be first and foremost good horsemen, um, good caretakers of, of the animal, um, good uh, ambassadors of the sport. And we had great support behind us, not only in our personal internal teams of grooms and managers and veterinarians and blacksmiths and, and so on, but great support of owners who always stepped up and made great efforts to make sure we were mounted on the horses that could compete and win at the highest level. Well, you know, Beezy was a, a very quiet person. You'd almost say a little bit introverted. Um, and I would say I'm probably a little bit different. I talk a lot and have pretty forward opinions, um, but it seemed to work. And as we got very comfortable with each other, um, it was really a, a pretty seamless relationship. Uh, one that uh, was very comfortable in each other's company, um, knew that the other could be relied upon. Um, and I think on a personal level, uh, there was just a, an ease about it um, that at the end of the day, despite probably slightly different personalities and ways of going about our daily life, um, we knew that we were going to come through for each other and uh, appreciate each other for that. You know, I think for the remainder of my international career, not to have uh, Beezy on the teams with me is a, is a huge void. Uh, it's a void personally because uh, she is the, the embodiment of, of what, what that is. And to not only strive for excellence in sport, um, and as a human being, um, but again, this team first mentality. But you know, she's gonna she's gonna lend her knowledge and experience to young riders that hopefully I can stay on long enough to get to compete with them, and they're gonna come up through the levels and, and be all that much better because of the support she gives them. I think BZ knows this, but uh, I, I'm so grateful for for the fact that our careers intertwined and and for what uh, BZ brought to the sport, um, what she brought to our personal relationship. Uh, our partnership on teams, um, and I've said to her a few times over the years, um, I have a lot of medals that I'm very proud of hanging on my wall because of these. So, uh, forever gratitude. <laughs>